In this video, I'm going to explain how to use the conduit wizard to input conduit for underground feeders, 4-inch PVCs to be specific. So one of the tools that Red Rhino has that speeds up the process of estimating so much is called a conduit wizard. Here I have opened the conduit wizard so we can use it. It begins, or I should say estimating conduit, begins with measuring the conduit. You have to measure the total distance or length and know the type and size, and then you'll input it into the conduit wizard. Now, I'm going to make this really quick. The purpose is to show you, again, how much time you can save estimating conduit. In this case, I'm going to estimate PVC, and right here at the top, let me just click this drop down so you see it. With Red Rhino in the Conduit Wizard, it has PVC uh, schedule, uh, I'm sorry, uh, GRC PVC, which is PVC coated rigid, EMT, rigid conduit, MC cable, the Smurf tube, ENT, seal tight, DB is direct burial, a thin wall underground conduit, and case burial is another thin wall underground conduit, aluminum flex, steel flex, C condolet and an intermediate conduit. Now I'm just going to select PVC. I'm going to say that I have a run of conduit to estimate that's underground. Okay, so I'm going to set the PVC here. I'll set the size drop down at four inch. And then when I click find here, I have to click the conduit application. Now the conduit application shows different amounts of labor depending on the application. Of course, underground conduit, you can install the fastest usually and I'll click on that. So I'll click on here. I'll select underground. Okay. Now all I have to do is put in the number of feet, the total number of feet. I'm going to say that my run is 180 feet long, 180, and number of runs. I'm going to say it's just one run. Now, next I put in the size and number of conductors. I'm going to click the drop down. I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm going to put 500 MCM in, three of them. Now, again, if I was doing this on a real estimate, I would have a list of materials here that I'd be reading this off of and inputting it. I'm going to set it up with a 4 aught copper ground. So I'll click this, go down to 4 aught copper, and put in a quantity of 1 here. Next, I just put in the makeup link. Now, this is, what's really cool about this is I can tell the program how many feet of makeup or how many extra feet of wire I want to extend beyond the end of the conduit to go to the termination point. In this case, I'm going to say it's eight feet. Also, I have a selection of, of fittings, or I should say elbows here. If I choose, I can, if I need to, I can choose four inch galvanized rigid elbows for underground, PVC sweeps, which I'm going to come back to, and so on, four inch schedule 80 sweeps. Okay, I'm just going to go with four inch sweeps here and put in a quantity of four of them. Now we don't need supports here. It, it automatically populates no supports. Let me just click the add button and show you what this does. I'm going to click add next. Now after I added the materials here, notice what it input here. Hopefully you can see this. Let me see if I can blow it up a little bit. I can't seem to blow it up uh, with this recording. So long story short is, it, notice it inputs 180 feet of Schedule 40 PVC here. It shows the price for, per 100 feet and the total price and the labor with extended labor. What I mean to say is all these products here, it shows the quantity or shows the description, the quantity, the price, and then it shows how much labor the program displays to install it or pull wire. So here, I'll just read through this, uh, 180 feet of Schedule 40, four extra couplings for the elbows, right? Now this inputs two terminal adapters, right? So you can make up at both ends or you can, you can drop a panel on it. Again, two terminal adapters. Now if I didn't need those, I would just delete them. It shows no supports. Uh, there, it doesn't show supports here, I, I should say. It shows no supports. I would just delete this, okay? Um, next, it shows uh, PVC Schedule 40 sweeps, 4 by 48 by 90, four of them. It shows 588 feet of 500 MCM with price and labor and 196 feet of um, 4 aught for ground. So again, the Conduit Wizard is a tool that speeds up a uh, speeds up the estimating process a lot. And I might add that it's just one tool that speeds up the process. There's lots of other things in Red Rhino, but the, the Conduit Wizard is one that really speeds it up. That's all for this video.